Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Star Wars. Anyway, let us continue, shall we? I'm doing what we were doing. See if we can find where this uh, mission to this game may have for us is. Hmm. If we can't find anything, well, what can we do, I guess? But allegedly, according to the log. Uh, from Alex, there we go. Independent pilot is helping them to transport some cargo from X-54 system. I don't exactly know where they're moving, but there is a station there. Atoll. Okay, Atoll. Right, so we need to go Atoll. Allegedly. I don't even know if this is going to work, I'm just guessing. <coughs> but hey, it's better to guess than not at all. Hey there. We'll hunt them down as quickly as possible. Hopefully they're going to come towards us-ish. Okay, they seem to be trying to attack the wolf directly, which is not the smartest of ideas, because they probably don't have the weapon to penetrate. Yeah, just look at that. The wolf is soaking up all the damage and not caring. Excellent work, wolf. I definitely love how much more durable I can make the wolf over uh, the other versions of it. Because the Messiah just seems so much more durable than any other wolf so far. Hmm. Anyway, no promises this is going to work, but we'll see. Now I think about it, let's talk. So we can actually see your skills and hopefully upgrade some. <coughs> Uh, yes, let's talk. Right, ah, uh, me. I can now pilot the next generation of ships. Sweet, excellent. Um, trainee. Nah. Okay. Ah, uh, let me dump myself into this. We we have the halberd and the hatagian. Hatagian. Right, um... Let's move that over there. So one of that, and one of that. <coughs> and systems, let's see. Let's grab one of them, one of them, and... I kinda want to be able to repair myself, honestly. Hmm. I'm curious, Trini, are you going to be able to get any good at anti sailing? Oh hey, allegedly you can get Berserk Weaponry out of station. Hmm. <coughs> hmm. Okay, we can uh, increase our shield gen uh, durability. Okay, so yes, Trenny can get quite good at it later on. We can get better at it, I think. Uh, increasing the system efficiency by 25%. This one increases the efficiency by 25%, and you have already got 25%. Excellent. Uh... Hmm. Anyway, uh, that's beside the point for now. 
Um, what do I want in that extra slot for systems? That is the question we're currently asking ourselves. Hmm. <clears throat> hmm. Is there a cannon rapid fire mod? Ranger, nope, I don't see any. Hmm. Kind of like the idea of my ship continuously slowly repairing itself, so I'll go for the cleric, honestly. Sounds silly, but you know. We'll also pick up the berserk just for later. Actually, we might as well use that now. Fling it on Trenny. Right, fighters. Do they have any good fighters? Uh, no. Is the short answer to that. The long answer would be no. Uh, yeah, that seems to be it, really. <coughs> hmm. Oh yeah, I just forgot about reading these. You know what, there's not many of them left. Death of a Legend. Sad news for all sports lover lovers, according to the police, uh, Phil Hornets Thorn was killed during an illegal extreme race. He was a first class pilot, a winning of five Imperial Cups and the heroic MSF fighter. According to the preliminary report, Hornet lost control of his fighter, banked, and hit an asteroid. However, our agency has received different information from an anonymous source, including... According to which, Thorn Ships was actually shot down by another racer, and only then hit an asteroid. Mm. Death Race, which took the life of the brilliant... The Death Race, which took the life of the brilliant sportsman, was banned in all Imperial uh, systems before the war as dangerous and, and a barbarous sport. Usually these races took place in systems with extremely hard navigation and now it uh, looks like the racers are allowed to use weapons. We don't know but uh, why Thorne took part in a dubious event and who organised the race but an investigation has been launched directly by the MSF security service. Hmm. Serious problem. According to the Civilian Engineer Society, the problem of space waste and ship wreckages among the top three tasks of the new empire will soon have to face. According to the most conservative estimates, a removal of large wreckage only in any only in any of the systems which have been affected by war will require ten to twenty five billion credits. <coughs> The local budgets will have to fully finance this uh, work. Space waste does not only hamper his navigation and is dangerous to ship, but also attracts pirates, so-called <coughs> scavengers, who search the wreckages of ships for equipment still in one piece, cargo and weapons. Often uh, these scavengers protect their prospected space with self-made mines and stationary security uh, systems. You're with the voice of the new empire. Stay tuned. Hmm. Their own finds, their own tactics. Ah, uh, to be able to fight the cause without extraneous help, XT 17, 19, and 27 systems find themselves in vital. Is, uh, find it vital to restore justice. It is time for the governors of these systems to decide to reform the system of taxation of private businesses. Before the war, entrepreneurs have paid taxes according to the form set by the Empire, a copy of which has been sent to the local tax offices. Then the Empire just transferred to the systems part of the taxes according to the set of individual rates. However, none of the systems, including these still officially controlled by the MSF, have received any money in the last tax year. Though our agency knows for sure that the Imperial Bank continued to receive its taxes. Even if the le even if in lesser amounts, and governors in the systems decided to take the taxation under the control and keep all payments of the systems accounts, not dividing them with the new empire. 
or with the Empire. Moreover, the governors promised that thus would be uh, possible to lower tax rates for our businessmen. <laughs> <clears throat> the idea in general uh, has sense, but if you take into account the fact that XT 17, 19, and 27 have long become pirate enclaves, the taxis are likely to be used for system improvements and law enforcing. Many entrepreneurs assert that, uh, though asking not to mention their names, that the governors just decide to legalize racket. Hmm? Okay, I don't understand. Legalized racket? <laughs> hmm. Maybe I'm just being dense. Probably am. <laughs> <clears throat> so I guess we're not meant to be doing this here? Hmm. I thought this backwater system may have had something interesting in it. Maybe it does. Maybe I should explore around. Hmm. Have a gander, see what if we can find anything. Um. What the hell are you? Oh, mining station. Okay. Station, just ellipsis. Why would you even send me ellipsis? He's grr. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to explore around here for a bit. So I'll find you if there's anything interesting that I find. Okay, as far as I can tell, there's absolutely nothing really of any interest here, so I'm just going to make my way back, pretty much. Yeah. So yeah, off back, basically, the way we just went. Which is uh, awkward. Kind of, to say the least. You know, ju just saying. Ah. Uh, I'm even time again just doing this on my own, thinking about it. Hmm. Anyway, I'm actually curious, how will we do with the tiger? Oh, I wish I had another Yatakan. I think it was Yatakan, right? Yeah, Yatakan. Yeah, you've got absolutely no chance of penetrating me. That, that's, I'm so, I, um, I should keep my mouth shut. <laughs> you've got absolutely no chance of penetrating. Oh, uh, wait a minute, I, hmm. Well, murder most foul. We actually did really quite good, I'd say. <clears throat> I'm actually curious. Um, 183 and 90. Yeah, it's definitely a lot more maneuverable. Is it more shielding? Yeah, it's got more shielding. And more armor. So it is just generally better. Sevier fighters equipped with two guns, uh, two heavy guns, and three systems was created to turn of the century primarily by the MSF and patrol fighter. According to the special purpose concept of the time, the vessel's daft, uh, draft proposed didn't provide for missiles. Development uh, took longer than planned, and by the time it was ready, the new fighter had, compl had to complete. Not uh, with compete not with second generation ships, but with the newest version of the class, which were much harder to surpass. The Tiger entered mass production in 2207, 
and soon became the main assault vessel of the MSF. In the time, and sometime Tiger, and so, sometime Tigers enter the public market. Hmm. <clears throat> well, let's get moving, shall we? Pretty much, this is going to just be the trip, honestly. So I'm thinking about just leaving it here for now. You know what? Yeah, I'll leave it here, and I'll bring you back when we're about to go somewhere more interesting. So until then, all the I'll see you in a moment. Until then, all the best. Hmm. Ha. Huh. Well, this is unexpected, honestly. Free traders, welcome. Hey there. Any news? Only the hottest. You see, the news is actually too hot to give away just like that. If you want, uh, you can buy it for 5,000 credits. <laughs> Piping hot. Well, I'm sending money. Yeah, great. Breaking news. An asteroid almost entirely made of platinum was found in the new Dunbus system. If the Empire starts mining it, platinum prices in the domestic market will drop fivefold. The Empire is no fool to miss such an opportunity. I guess you have a point. We should probably buy some when we finally get to, uh, to it. So, no Dunbass, apparently? Okay. Well, you're probably going to ram your face into me. I'm so very sorry, honestly. <laughs> Doink. Okay, yeah, we're fine. Right, cool. I guess we'll make our way to New Dunbass? Maybe? Huh. Where is New Dunbass? Um, New Dunbass. Sagittarius, Phoenix, Unic uh, Unicorn, Border Sectors. Nope. Uh, sorry, I'm just looking for this place. Oh, God damn it, this is. Hmm. Ah, there it is. New Dunbass. Wow, that's quite a way. It's famous for its rich mineral deposits, uh, representing almost the entirety of the periodic table. At the same time, the local miners cannot boast of either luxury or health. Huh. Okay, sure. Anyway, I'll meet you back when we get to the New Jerusalem sector. In which one? I'm not entirely sure. The first one we get to, though. So I'll see you in a bit. Okay, welcome back. We're at New Jerusalem no uh, 1 now. So, yeah. Um, but anyway, you might be wondering, Hey, Space, why don't you take from XT26 just over to XT05 and then make your way up to XB17? Well, mostly I didn't want to break scripting, honestly. You know, because scripting can be a bit dodgy. And I just didn't want to give it an excuse to fail, pretty much. You know, I'm just it's, it's silly enough things. Often cause games to break is just little tiny silly things though, so, you know. Might as well go the path it gave me. Just in case. Kinda need the maintenance station, but alas, we're okay right now. Right now, that is. I was thinking about getting a nickel, but we don't have many systems. I would love to have the five systems I had for the wolf. I mean, seriously, jeez. Uh, oh yeah, now I think about it, we need to dock at a trade station to drop off some of this stuff. Actually, curiosity, is this place known for being high-tech-ish? Ah, uh, vital trade traffic and the uh, connect free mayor and no traffic mining power is in the patrol station to deal with the problem. The small garrison can't protect all systems in this part of the street. Okay. It's not really high-tech, it's more of a kind of pit stop area. Ah, uh, right. Curiosity, are you getting levels just by... No, you're not getting levels being in dock. Right, that is okay, I guess. 
There we go. Anyway, we should be fine. Theoretically. Eh, whatever. We have now all got a... A vapor, I think it is called? My hangover is killing me. <laughs> that whiskey they distill in the borderline sector is pure evil. <laughs> Interesting. Strange thing to shout over the intercom, seeing as how they're kind of pleased, but you know. Whatever. Uh, let's make our way to the maintenance station. Then we'll be going to Debris 1. Okay. Well, we'll have a look at the maintenance station and then we'll make our way to the Taihon station. See how that is. Hopefully we can get Tech 3 firmware. What the? A lone pirate and... okay. Trini, come away! Ah, come on. Get it. We'll just let the wolf do her thing, though. While I sit there in mild confusion. It's some experience, though. So, meh. But yeah, we're all in the tigers. Which is pretty good. We all seem to be using heavy weapons, which isn't that great. Good thing is, though, we have some diversity within the heavy weapons section in and of itself. Like, I'm using cannons, he's uh, using uh, machine cannons, and Trenny is using lasers. So, no firmware 3, that's annoying. Anyway, debris, please. Nope, not debris. To the station. Hmm. Oh, hey. This is our space. You was a transportation fee of 72,000... Ah, 7.2k. Yeah, I think not. Wait, did I pay? Oh, shit. I feel like such an idiot. <laughs> Her. Oh, you know what? Yeah, sure. I'll pay. <sighs> I'm sorry, that's how tired I am right now. I'm feeling pretty drained. Ugh. I ended up waking up at 6 o'clock in the morning and it's now 6 o'clock in the evening. So I've been up for about... It's actually quarter past... Uh, not quarter past. 40 minutes past. Ah, <sighs> yes. I am definitely not here right now. Hmm. Anyway, I'm curious. How much are you? No, not you. Shit. Uh, you. There you are. 105 by 17, so... Quite a lot. I might actually just stick with these heavy kinetic cannons instead of going on to the particle accelerator. Uh, but anyway, we picked up some cargo containers. Might as well just get rid of them. Found them lying beside a portal. I honestly didn't kill any traitor. No, I'm not <laughs> I didn't kill any traitors though, but. Brr, beside the point. Uh. Get rid of you, Macy's, please. Uh, da, 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 let's see. Sell two. All but two. We don't need polaxes at all. Halberds we'll keep for now. And we'll sell all but two Gatlings as well. Hmm. Okay, systems? Um...
Okay, well, let's just sell our stuff then. There we go. Hmm. I'm going to keep that stuff for now. I may change it later. Anyway, alas, let's get out of here. <laughs> we'll get moving on. I'm kind of curious what other stations might have in the uh, lines of equipment. But we'll have to wait and see, obviously. <gasps> this is pretty! And a massive area. Bum hole trades the bottom hole. Right, bottom hole, not. <laughs> ah! I'm sorry, I read that as bum hole. Oh, yeah, you're going to the trading station. Oh, you mean bum hole? Yeah, that one. Why does the order keep changing? Chase, I'm down. But seriously, this is pretty. It definitely makes you feel quite small. Ah! Okay, right here will do a wolf. Nice thing is, you've interrupted our formation, which is perfect. Okay, come on. Yeah, missiles are not going to really help me, to be honest. Seriously, we have pretty damn strong shielding right now. Anyway, let's speed that up and get moving again. Oh hey, what the hell was that? One moment, I saw that. Is there any reason that that's there? I guess not, maybe? Question mark? I can't remember. I can't. Oh, I'm sorry. I read that as bum hole and it's still amusing me. Oh. Yeah, we should have that in the bag quite easily. Okay, let's just speed it up a touch. Yeah, there we go. Uh, yes, we need to dock. Right, so let's see what do we have. Honestly, not much. Looking at this so far. Uh, Hayes anti missile system and the Hawk sensors. Uh, Hayes and Paralot Malax, 300 clicks. What about the Hawk? What is the Hawk? I don't think this is good. No, two thirty. They do have a stronghold, though. I'm gonna grab that. The strongholds come in pretty handy. Uh, we'll get rid of you. And yeah, that'll do. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, you're not going to have a good day, especially when you ram me. Mm. Ha, da, da, da. Anyway, let's get moving, shall we? Hmm. Seriously, though, this makes you feel really small. I... Hmm. 
Okay, everyone on dock, just before we enter the portal, just so it doesn't go horribly south, we have to transport ourselves all the way across. Uh, right, so where do we want to go? Crino? No, we came from Crino. Right, where do we want to go? We want to go to the Debris 6 system, which is all the way over there. May have been a better idea not to go through the portal then. Hmm. Oh well. Wait, have you caught a sight of me? You have. Ha! <laughs> Can you catch up though? Only because I stopped. <laughs> I'm sorry, I kind of amused. Ah, we must chase him down! Why? He's the enemy! Um, okay. If you want to chase me down, I'm, I'm perfectly happy, honestly, because... You know... Not too afraid of you, to be honest. Yeah. The prize triada trade station. Oh, you know what? What could possibly go wrong? Her Ship explodes, everyone dies. Oh, you know. Try out a board me and pound my vessel. Oh, you know. Nothing will go wrong! <laughs> nah, it should be fine. Um, let's see. The eagle, that's even worse again. Hmm. Don't really have any good guns to buy looking at this. I mean, I could buy another uh, Dagra. Hmm, 105 and 17, 200 and. Wow, okay, yeah. No, that's Helios. Okay. 105 and 17. Yep, that's better. I guess the only issue is we're not uh, diversifying our weapons pretty much, but that's not dreadful. I'm actually going to hold on to the turret though, because I think, think that is, that we're going to get a ship with more turrets. So yeah, at least I remember that vaguely from the text on the ship. Anyway, I'm probably going to make my way to this portal and then leave it there. You know what, I might as well actually just leave it here right now. So, I'll leave it there and until next time, all the best and we'll fight that fight when we get here.